Hey everybody, welcome back to Bitter and Bass. And today we're going to talk about the shaky head. Where to fish it, rod and reel selection, bait selection. Let's get into it. Now before I get into it, you know I got to do the whole YouTube thing. So, you know, help me out. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. You know, mainly like. Um... It helps out the YouTube algorithm and it helps your boy out to reach my goal of 100 subscribers by the end of the month, which this is my birthday month, and which would be a very special thing for me. So with that being said, I think we won't, uh, by the time this video comes out, we'll only have about two weeks left, but we can get that done. So I'm going to give you a little chance to do that. All right, thank you for subscribing out there. Now, shake your head, what is it? Well, this is a shaky head. It's a stout hook next to a jig head that sits on the bottom. Well, you can't really see it like that. <laughs> that sits on the bottom flat. It's supposed to stand up. And while it's standing up, that bait or lure, whichever one you want to call it, it's pointed straight up in its dead. Matter of fact, hold on. Matter of fact, hold on. Let me get this off. Okay. Stay right there, don't move. Okay. So. It's supposed to sit flat. And while it's sitting flat, that lure would be up, dancing, swaying, and so forth, so on. You know what I'm saying? As the water moves and does, you know, the mother, uh, mother, the mother nature thing. Now, where do you fish it? You want to find those hard, rocky bottoms um, when you're fishing the shaky head. Most time, you want to find those long tapering uh, points. You know what I'm saying? Uh, hard bottoms. And even the hard bottoms that you find uh, offshore. Let me go. Now, you can fish this in brush piles. You can fish it in lay downs. Matter of fact, this finesse style of fishing right here, when you're fishing uh, a bunch of cover versus structure, this thing right here outshines the shaky head. Now the shaky head is when you're fishing grass, it outshines grass and muddy bottom, it outshines uh, the drop shot, I'm sorry. When you're fishing grass and muddy bottom, it outshines the shaky head. The shaky head outshines in hard, rocky, and cover. Okay? So, color selection as far as the, uh, same thing, I'm sorry. The same thing you do with a shaky head, not shaky head, but drop shot. <laughs> it's the same way that you fish a shaky head. You know, you either pitch it into the cover or you fire it out there and you let it hit bottom, just like Texas rig and so forth, so on. And you slowly and methodically drag it back. Once you drag and you get I would say you start out at three o'clock or draw at three o'clock. You pull and you drag up to 11 o'clock. Once you get to 11 o'clock, you give it a slight little shake and you stop. And you wait for a little second before you repeat the process. Now, this is not a, <laughs> this is not a, uh, as I could say, a power fishing uh, technique you're not gonna cast out and wind it back that's not what it's for it's for you can't get a bite you need a bite you want a bite you fish a shaky head you know that's just what it is now baits to use now on a shaky head you can use just about anything you can use a creature bait you can use anything but now you know I'm gonna tell you what I like to use I like to use a stick bait which 
as you can tell, this is about empty. I've been using the uh, the Guggen Squad Lonker Log. I believe this is the six, uh, six inch. But what really shines on it, to me and in my experience, is a straight tail worm, the Guggen Bait uh, Slim Shape. Slim Shape. That shines to me because you have a whole lot more action to the bait um, that I found in any other lure. Now, again, you can use creature baits, you can use uh, lizards, you can use what you want to use on it, but for me, it would be the slim shape. Now, color selection, which Color selection, if the water's dingy, go darker. Something that stands out. If it's more clear, go more natural. Keeping it simple. Keeping it very simple. Um, ride and reel selection. In line. Ride, reel, and line selection. Like the uh, shaky head, I like to go with a seven foot. Let me get it up here. A seven foot, well, six, eight to seven foot medium action rod medium action rod again you're down there you can set the hook but you're not going to pull the hook out the fish's mouth you got enough backbone to fight the fish but you got enough give so that the fish cannot throw the hook out of his mouth you got enough of that line i have a 30 pound braid to a 10 pound fluorocarbon leader I did that for a reason. Um, I want to be able to feel the bite a whole lot more better than if I went just straight fluorocarbon. And the fish can't really see the line like they would with braid. I use a uni to uni knot to combine the line. I use the uni to uni knot to combine the line. I apologize for a second. Um, PTSD. I had kind of, <laughs> I kind of went somewhere on that one. Now, with that being said, with this bait, with this, with this uh, rig, I'm sorry. Don't be afraid to fish next to stumps, lay down trees, uh, rock piles. Uh, brush piles don't be afraid to fish none of that it is made for it especially you know what I'm saying it's a good weedless setup um, you basically matter of fact you're basically gonna catch this rig the drop shot not drop shot I keep wanting to say drop shot you're gonna touch this rig the shaky head and the cool thing about the uh, ones that I got is it has a screw lock it's got a screw lock on it so you just screw the bait on bury the hook in exposed it so you know it is weedless now weight selection you want to get away with the lightest weight possible you want to get away with the lightest weight possible now, in small ponds, in even lakes, you know, depending on how the depth that I'm fishing, I would I like to go with a 3 16th ounce. I'm not going to go no higher than an eighth of an ounce, though. But a 3 16th ounce is what I generally, generally will use. Um, the fall rate is good. And you still get good bottom contact and you can still feel the bait very well it ain't making so much of a ruckus and it's not that big now if you're fishing in a river system then you might want to go not might you're going to want to go heavier um anywhere from ooh, a half ounce i wouldn't go no higher than a half ounce it sinks pretty good because if you cast it out there in the river system with this the bait will be pretty much downstream before it even hits the bottom. You want to go something heavier. But guys, 
that is shaky head fishing in a nutshell that's the 101 version um i might get into a video where you know i go a little bit more in depth into it but don't forget to subscribe like and hit that notification bell and don't forget to comment on anything else you would like to see from me um i might not be fishing as much as i want to be fishing considering the fact that the shots did not work so it looks like surgery is the next option for me so i might be down for a couple of weeks as far as fishing goes but well not a couple of weeks a few weeks don't want to litter that again but hopefully before the uh summer really kicks into play um i will be out there fishing for you guys and hopefully dragging in some monsters Bear and Bassin, we love you out there. Hopefully see you on the water. One.